Hello friends and welcome back to our story time with Mr. Hoy. This is part two. I already did a book about one of the animals on a farm, a cow, and cows, cow can't sleep. And now I have Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. So today's stories are brought to us by cows. And this is by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. And this is a Caldecott Honor book, which means that um, a lot of people like this book and said, my goodness, this book deserves a medal because it's so great. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, that is called a typewriter, which is kind of like what our, what we used to write on before computers came around. So, imagine that. It had keys, you use your hands much like you do with a keyboard on a computer, but the difference was the paper was uh, rolled up in there. See uh, right in here, there's like a roll, and the paper is rolled through, so that these little keys correspond, match up with little arms that have the letters on them, and as you type, they hit the paper. And um, once you write it, it's there. And that's what we used to do. <laughs> Not anymore. Some people still have typewriters. In fact, the movie Ghost, uh, Goosebumps had um, featured a typewriter in it, which I thought was very nice. I don't know if you saw that movie. It's a little bit scary. but um... So the dedication is for my dad. Um, and that is uh, Doreen Cronin. And to Sue Doley. And that is Betsy Lewin. And a bunch of cows. This is the title page, and also we got the credits there on the right. Or the left, actually, the left. And let's begin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. That's something I should say. Um, when you type on a typewriter like that, when you type the keys, you press down on the keys, they make like a clickety-clackety sound. So that's where that click-clack is coming from. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible! Click-clack. Moo. Click-clack. Moo. Clickety-clack. Moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. They typed him a message. Hmm. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. That's what it means when you go on strike. You don't do your job. And the cow's job is to provide milk. So they're not going to give any milk. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, boo. Click, clack, boo. Clickety, clack, boo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. So now the chickens must be on strike too. No eggs. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Furious. What do you think that means? Yeah, he's really mad. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. 
All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Hmm. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Everybody got their electric blankets. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click clack quack. Click clack quack. Clickety clack quack. So now the ducks have the typewriter. Oh no. And look, <laughs> they got their diving board. Oh my goodness. That was a funny story, wasn't it? The animals had a typewriter, and they typed out some demands, and then there was a bit of a back and forth between the farmer and the, and the animals, and then they did a compromise. You give us the typewriter? I mean, you give me the typewriter, I'll give you the electric blankets. So that's our story for today. Again, we're doing farm this week for my class, so a lot of our books will be from farm animals and farm scenarios. Have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.